These are Alaska Picks. I'm not in any way a spokesperson for the Alaska Pick people. I just want to show a little bit about these picks and why I use them. When you first purchase an Alaska Pick, it looks a little bit like this. It does not have this little cut in the middle. You have to cut these up and modify them and file them yourself in order to produce the tone that you like. So they produce the same tone as your nail. You can put them on quickly. I've tried to do fake nails. They're not my favorite. I've heard good things about ping pong balls being used to substitute for fingernails in a pinch and the application process is not ideal for a last minute emergencies. That is why I'm going to espouse the Alaska pick here. So, okay, so here's a little bit about how you do this. You've got your picks. Da, 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 da. They need to be cut because these things are really tight. If you look at this right here, and then look at my finger, it looks like it might fit. I promise if I leave it on for long enough, I will have purple fingers. I will not be comfortable. So I'm gonna write on each of these picks which finger they belong to because you're going to file them specifically for that finger. Ah! You can see where I wrote the M and the I. And here's the A for the ring finger, in case you didn't know. So now you have to clip out a little hole here. Um, you can also clip from the inside too. I turned my head away because one time I did that, it got in my eye. There it is. Sucker. Yep. Okay. Wasn't pleasant. You're gonna keep doing these things until it feels comfortable on your finger. Now you're gonna see how I put this on. Goes over the over the finger, but under the nail. It's a little weird, I admit, but this gives you the control that you need and it behaves enough like a fingernail um, versus maybe a banjo pick. I find that it behaves enough like a fingernail that it's a really good substitute. Ta-da! I would honestly keep it on your finger as you file. That way you can tell how long it's gonna be and the shape. Honestly, the best way to figure out what shape you want your Alaska picks is if you already file your nails and have practiced this as many times as I have. This emery board is great for getting you down to the size you want. You need a little one for the shaping. What I'm gonna try to get rid of is this harsh inside edge. Try to get it to about a 45 degree angle. I may or may not succeed, but I try. I've got these three filed to a pretty decent level. <laughs> with my index and my ring finger can produce a tone that's relatively clear the middle finger I'm not happy with it because it's still too long and it's still got that harsh edge on it and so it's causing me to scrape you can hear this scrapey sound before I, the note articulates so I'm gonna keep filing that one tweak these as I go through and perform a little bit more with them. That's about it for the Alaska Picks. Hope you learned something. If you decide to do this, let me know what the results are.